This is a first. The drivers can't see the field. So they, I never am using cameras to guide them. Some are pre-programming, so they go autonomously. There's no extra points during the first 15 seconds, but it's a chance to get started to fill those cargo ships and rocket ship for launch. Quickly going to the highest level, Team 330 on their rocket ship. The hatch panels are the 19 inch diameter discs that will hold the cargo in place. Blue Alliance 5966 looking to pick up cargo or sprocket. Meanwhile, 330 is mounting on level two. The rocket ship on the scoring table side has four hatch panels for the Red Alliance. Each panel is worth two points. Cargo is worth three. If they can successfully fill their rocket ship with hatch panels and cargo, then they will get an extra ranking point. Ranking points are an opportunity to increase recognition of your robot's ability. Six panels with almost a minute left, the Red Alliance, meanwhile the Blue Alliance has panels on their cargo ship. But the game, they're just about tied with under a minute left. So the goal now is if you have hatch panels, do you leave them or put in cargo? Will the Red Alliance be able to totally fill their rocket ship? Will the Blue Alliance successfully get some hatch panels? Now we're getting close to the end game. All three robots getting back to the habitat zone. 20 seconds and a look at 330 going to the highest level. Blue Alliance 5966 on level one. Four, three, two, one, zero. The match is under review. And we have Red Alliance wins with 50 points. Blue Alliance has 31, and this is the first match has four ranking points. But we do have two. We have two yellow cards.